Glomerular podocyte food processes normally act to prevent passage of large molecules, such as proteins, from the blood into the urine. Sophia, a three-year-old previously healthy girl, is brought to her pediatrician after her mother notices a new facial puffiness. Last week she had a cough and runny nose which resolved spontaneously. Vital signs are normal and physical examination shows periorbital and lower extremity edema. What is the diagnosis? Minimal change disease. It's a glomerular disease that causes nephrotic syndrome. Glomerular podocyte food processes normally act to prevent passage of large molecules, such as proteins, from the blood into the urine. In minimal change disease, the glomerular podocyte food processes are lost, allowing proteins to enter the urine. Loss of albumin, the primary oncotic force in the blood, causes leakage of fluid into the extravascular spaces, causing edema. To compensate for loss of plasma oncotic pressure, liver increases production of lipids, with resultant hyperlipidemia. The vast majority of cases of minimal change disease are idiopathic, but occasional cases are associated with Hodgkin lymphoma. What is the clinical presentation and the morphologic features? Minimal change disease causes approximately 90% of nephrotic syndrome in children in the most countries. Most affected children are aged between 2 and 6 years. Presence of nephrotic range proteinuria, bigger than 3.5 grams per day, hypoalbuminia, hyperlipidemia, normal BUN, and normal creatinine. Renal biopsy is rarely performed in clinical practice. Morphologic features. In microscopy, we see normal glomerulus. Electron microscopy. The effacement or loss of podocytes, the epithelial cell food processes. An important differential diagnosis to be done, the focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, FSGS, is another common cause of nephrotic syndrome. However, nearly all patients with FSGS are adults, not children. On renal biopsy, FSGS demonstrates scarring or sclerosis in portions of some glomeruli, and that's why it's called segmental sclerosis. On the other hand, there are some areas of normal glomeruli, and that's why it is presented as focal. What is the treatment for this condition? Because the majority of children with nephrotic syndrome have minimal change disease, empiric steroid therapy with prednisone is often studied, even without a renal biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. The vast majority of children have a full recovery with no long-term sequelae. This is it! This is our destiny! Again, thank you so much! If you like it, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.